Dear students, today we will learn addition of three digit numbers of page 58 from your maths book with the help of currency notes. Students, on 20th July there were 488 rupees in Gurjot's account. Yes, 488 rupees. On 28th July he deposited 345 rupees in his account more. So my dear students, let's see how much money is there in Gurjot's account. Dear students, on 20th July amount in Gurjot's account was 488 rupees means 8 notes of rupees 1 means 8 at 1's place and 8 notes of rupees 10 means 80 rupees and yes 80 rupees means 8 10's and 4 notes of rupees 100 means 400 and yes 400 means 4 at 100's place on 28th July Gurjo deposited yes 340 5 rupees in his account means 5 notes of rupees 1 means 5 at 1's place 4 notes of rupees 10 40 rupees and yes 40 rupees means 4 at 10's place 3 notes of rupees 100 means 300 rupees and yes 300 rupees is equal to 3 at 100's place. Now, amount in Gurjot's account. Firstly, we will count 1 rupee notes. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And 13 rupees is equal to 13 ones. So, my dear students, now... Gurjot will take, yes, one note of rupees 10 in place of 10 notes of rupees 1 because 10 ones is equal to 1 tens. So, 1 net tens place and now we have 3 notes of rupees 1 means 3 at 1's place. Now let's count 10 rupees notes. Yes, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120, 130. 130 means 13 tens. Now, Gurjot will take, yes, my dear students, one note of rupees 100. In place of 10 notes of rupees, 10 because 10 tens is equal to 100. So, dear students, 1 at 100's place and we have 10, 20, 30. 30 rupees means 3 at 10's place. Now, it's the turn of 100 rupees notes. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. And 800 means, my dear students, yes, 8 at 100's place. So, Gurjot has 833 rupees in his account. In the homework, dear students, do last two sums of line 1 and last two sums of line 2 from page 59 in your notebooks. Thank you.